Hello guys and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to store our secrets in AWS uh, Parameter Store, which is a feature of AWS Systems Manager. And also we will see how we can fetch some of the secrets that you can store in encrypted format in AWS Secrets Manager. So Parameter Store is a feature of Systems Manager. And if you go to console and try to create a parameter here, it gives you an option to create three type of uh, different parameters. Secure string, which is which is encrypting sensitive data using KMS keys. Uh, you can also you know store a common separated list of strings, and also a simple string like a URL. So I'm using the AWS CLI to store db username underscore ps. ps is just to define it as a value which we are storing in parameter store with value ps db username and setting the type as string. So setting the type as string means that we are storing the parameter without any encryption. I'm also going to add the region as us us2 and press enter. So I've created it successfully. Now I'm going to add another value in my parameter store and this time it is the db password. So I want to encrypt it. So I'm passing the type as secure string. Again, I need to pass the region as us west 2 So our parameter store values are created. Let me go to console. So we have to parameters created here one is your secure string of a password and another one is a string now I also want to create a secrets manager uh, stored credential so to store a secret in secrets manager I'm using this AWS CLI command where I need to store the secret as db underscore admin underscore sm sm is just to define it as a secret manager stored value this is just a description and it's a secret string where I'm passing a JSON compatible string now under the JSON I have username as admin and password as uh, password here now again I want to set the region as US US2 and enter So I have a new secret created under Secrets Manager. Now I want to use these secrets stored in Parameter Store in my serverless YAML file. Now I'm back to my serverless YAML file. To fetch secrets from our Parameter Store, we are going to use the SSM keyword. So let's say I want to get the DB username. Let me just put underscore ps so that we can segregate it from the secrets manager variables. We're going to use the SSM keyword as our source. And then we need to give the path of the parameter that we stored. In this case, it's slash db username and ps. That's it. We are also going to get the password. Again, SSM and db password underscore ps. Now by default, when we fetch the secret, your password value will be decrypted. If you do not want it to be decrypted, you can pass the keyword no decrypt here and the encrypted uh, value that is stored in your parameter store will be uh, set as the value for this environment variable but in this case we want it to be decrypted now let's add these variables to our response in our lambda function to see if they are working or not i'm going to my user.js and here I'm going to add the username I'm 
and also db password ps right let's go to our command prompt and let's try to deploy our function once again I'm going to use stage as dev meanwhile let's go to our console and if you go to cloud formation our dev project resources and the lambda function under configuration and environment variables we see that uh, the tv username and password is also set so we are successfully being able to fetch our secrets from parameter store and set them for our lambda function to use now i can go to my postman go to our dev user url i'm going to edit it as dev just rename it so that we are not confused and test it again and this time you can see that we are we were successfully able to set the new parameters uh, by fetching them from ssm sorry the parameter store now let's go back to our serverless yaml file now here we also want to uh, fetch our secret that we stored in SSM store, which was db underscore password underscore sm. So because we stored our secret in a JSON format, we need to use the custom property here. And under the custom property, we need to fetch our db admin let's say sm variable and then use the ssm keyword and this time because it's a secret manager we need to give the whole path for the secrets manager uh, keys so it's uh, slash aws slash reference slash secrets manager and then the name of our secret key if we try to do this under environment variable this will not work because serverless framework is not able to parse the json into environment variable yet so we have to define it here separately under custom and then we can pick the username and password value out of this JSON under environment variables. So here you can do something like db username sm and this can be set to self and then we are referring to custom property dot db admin underscore sm so here we're referring to our db admin sm under custom and then because it's a json we can refer to username here and in the same way we can get the password and here we need to change it to password so here we are fetching our db admin sm value from secret manager into a variable called db admin sm under custom property and then referring to this custom um, environment variable under our environment variable by referring to each uh, property of the json file now because it's under environment it should be available under all the functions that we have defined to test it, let's go back to our 
user.js file so I'm gonna just, just copy these two this time this is sm because it's secret manager and here just going to copy this Let's go back to our CLI and deploy it once again. So our deployment is done and let's go back to our Postman and test it once again. So here we can see that we are getting the response back with our environment variables we were able to fetch from Secrets Manager. Well, that's all for this lecture and in the next lecture we'll see some more variable types and we will also see how we can load our local.env file by defining environment variables in it.